Hello, welcome to the Art of Still Life Styling Prepping Series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prep a dress. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the steamer. I've already filled the jug up with water. So as we're waiting for that to heat up, I hear it hissing already. I'm going to hang the dress up and I do see a bunch of wrinkles here. This one might be pretty easy, um, but there are some ruffles and a little bit of detail here. Uh, but yeah, while this is heating up, it's important to remember not to put your hands in front of the steamer so that you don't burn yourself. Sometimes the base of this gets really hot too, the hose. Um, there are gloves, if you're working with a steamer that happens to be too hot, you can wear to protect your hands, but this one seems to be okay. So the steam is coming out, and I'm going to start here at the shoulders. The water is coming out a little bit, but I'm sure by the time we're done with this dress, the water spots will be dry. Oh yeah, see, look at that, a lot of water is showing up. So I'm not really pushing too hard, like against the fabric where these um, pleats are. I'm just lightly going down in the direction of the pleats. I'm also going to come behind like that just to loosen them up. And now I'm gonna take my hand, put it on the seam of the dress, and this is like a silk material, but it's a little different. It's not coming out as fast as cotton. And it's leaving more watermarks. So this dress has like two parts, kind of like a top and a bottom where I mean, it's one piece, but it is feeling like it's separate. So I'm gonna steam the top half first. Some wrinkles here in the shoulder. I'm just putting the steam against it and then stretching it out a little bit with my hand. Okay, to get that out. Now this dress has a hook to keep it together. I'm gonna unhook, unhook it so that I can get down past where the hook, where it wouldn't allow me to go. So I'm gonna go all the way down there. And on the other side, from the inside, I'm gonna get that little be straight. And while I'm here, I might as well steam the tag in the neck, getting all the wrinkles out back here. And the ruffles. So I'm just going to take my hand and lightly steam out the ruffles from behind. And pull it just slightly. side. Here. Actually, I can do it from here. Just coming from the back side and pulling gently. Also watching my hands so I don't burn myself. and not stay down when I want that to stay down. So I'm just going to take this part here and kind of hold 
the steam over it and then pulled it out with my hand so it can stay down. Believe it or not, something this small when you're styling this will show up and you would have wished that you got this hard wrinkle out. I'm just pulling that. Now it's the right way. All right, so now I'm gonna do the bottom half. There's really no seam here, so I'm just gonna get what I can see. Oh, I can't even go under. This has a pretty drapey fabric, so I'm just gonna grab any part of the fabric and move the steam around. Trying not to create any more wrinkles, but This isn't supposed to be completely straight, but in between the ruching, I'm just trying to get any wrinkles out that I see, especially right here. That's where I see them the most. Shaking, shaking, shaking. Okay, that looks good. I see a big wrinkle here. Gonna make sure you get all the spots with a drapey fabric like this. Look how pretty that drapes now. Can you see that? Now sometimes when you have a fabric that has a print on it, it is kind of hard to see the wrinkles, but you still want to get them out, even if you won't be able to see them very much you will know that they're there. I'm gonna go to the bottom and get these out. There's also some drawstrings. So I'm gonna get the drawstrings too. So when you make a bow, it ends up being a really nice bow. It's important not to skip this step because like I said earlier, Other people might not notice the wrinkle, but it'll make it a prettier bow if you steam it out. So now I'm going to turn it around and get the back. The back here, uh oh, it's making a little bit of a water spot from the steam hitting the hanger, but that'll dry. in between the pleats. And then I'll come back to the back of the ruffles. And this one, the ruffle, like under the armpit, like um, when we were doing the t-shirts, I always like to get the armpit. So same thing here with the ruffles. It's a little tricky because they're short. Do the same thing to the other side. Come from behind. And get the armpit ruffles. A little short ones. And shape it with my hand. And the back isn't too bad. Do the bottom half. Just grab 
putting the fabric where I can. Lightly knot out these wrinkles. Drapes nicely, giving the sides. And the bottom. dry and it looks pretty good to go whether it's going to be a lay down or a pin up ready to style I'm going to turn the steamer off and move on to the next one thank you for watching